Today, many consumers operate under the illusion that their security and privacy will be respected as they use computerized services around them. Unfortunately, in many cases, people do run into trouble with these uh, security breaches that we see in the headlines. And so my group is investigating techniques to provide the secure foundation that users already expect and they should really deserve to have underneath them. First, we employ secure hardware to make the software that runs on top of it more secure. We also use the power of cryptography to prove that computations that you outsource to a third party, say to the cloud, have actually been done correctly. And we also use uh, mathematical techniques to reason about the security, correctness, and provable reliability of software even before it's executed. So that means we should see fewer headline making data breaches or service outages so that you won't be getting these notifications that your personal data has been lost again or that your email is inaccessible and you need to try again tomorrow. Some of our work has already actually made it out into the real world. For example, some of our cryptographic techniques for verifying the correctness of computations it has been incorporated into a number of cryptocurrencies, the most prominent of which is Zcash, which uses it to add additional anonymity on top of what cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin can offer. Some of our work on proving that software is secure or correct or reliable has already made it into some popular web browsers, such as Firefox. Uh, it's being considered for inclusion in the Linux kernel and we're continuing to push out additional code that is provably secure and so we're hoping that that will also see widespread adoption. Our group is investigating classes of guarantees that come from secure hardware, from cryptography, from mathematical techniques to reason about software. All of these should advance us past the cycle of bugs and patches that we're currently stuck in today. Ultimately, I hope that years or maybe decades from now, developers will look back on the way in which we develop our critical digital infrastructure in the same way that doctors now look back on a time before anesthesia and before sterilization.